Today we're talking PLA. Stay tuned. In the before times when mobile phones were big because they had to be, your only real choice for printing FDM at home was to use ABS. Now nobody liked ABS, it was extremely sensitive and it smelt bad and it was also quite harmful. Then came PLA. Back then it was also a little bit sensitive and you could always find a bad one, cheap one. But nowadays we seem to have settled on one or two base recipes that all print very very similarly. So what is it that makes the difference between a £60 per kilo spool of filament versus a £13 per kilo spool of filament? So there are three main areas where extra money might make you feel a little bit better about your prints. The first and the most important is the additives. So you put additives into PLA to make it less brittle, or to make it look pretty, or to be heat more heat resistant. The second area is around the tolerance of the diameter of the filament. The industry standard at the moment is 0.05mm. And the third area is the box it comes in. This £13 box of filament here came in a battered old box and some sweets. Did any of that impact the print? Not a single bit. Prusa, for example, also have a big thing about their winding. And it does look pretty. The spool is extremely pretty as well. And I'm sure this is worth three or four pounds per kilo to some people. But back to the pretty stuff. Down here we have Polyalchemy Elixir. And this is an extremely shiny, extremely pretty filament. They come in a lot of colours and I was lucky enough to be given a sample pack of all of their colours. Now the Polyalchemy Elixir goes for about £35 for a 750 gram spool. It's quite expensive, but it does look pretty. Now you might be forgiven for thinking that this one here is one of the Polyalchemy materials, but it actually isn't. This comes in at £18 per kilo and I found it on Amazon. Next up we have a marble filament. This one's done by zero. This one comes in at £23 per kilo. It isn't the cheapest in the world and it does really look quite marble-esque. It's also very smooth as well so the print quality is very good. Next up we have some Sunlu filament. Sunlu PLA Plus has additives in it to make it a little less brittle. Sunlu do filaments with some of the lowest tolerance diameter of filaments I've seen. 0.02 for the most part. They're not the cheapest but they are very very good. So what else do we have? Well, filamentive do a great range. Trouble is, they're not the cheapest on the market. The wood stuff really does feel and look like wood, and when you're cooking it, it does smell like cooked wood. The cosmic stuff down here is very, very nice, and it's a nice dose of glitter with your colour. Here we have ice filaments. This stuff is £15 for a 750 And they do two versions. They do a wondrous white, which is a warm white, and they do a winterland white, which is a kind of a cooler white. So overall, when you get bored of rhinos, what else do you print? Well, when you've got a shiny silver, you can print yourself a little bender, and he needs a friend. So also, in Cosmic Gold, we have another robot who's a little drunk. These are done by a chap who goes by Fab365, and I'll put links in the description. But there we have PLA, really. I'm not planning on reviewing every single PLA I use. The idea when I got the Prusa was to experiment with other materials other than PLA. But obviously you need to get to know your printer beforehand, so that's where we are. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to thumb it up if you enjoyed it. Press the subscribe button and the bell as well so you'll know when I do more stuff. If you haven't enjoyed yourself, press the thumbs down and let me know why in the comments. See you soon.